So due to uh, to request, we're doing the second chelik of uh, issues of uh, prophecy and and Jewish enlightenment. And I'll see if we could see uh, somewhat what is the difference between prophecy and ruach hakodesh slash enlightenment. The Rambam writes when he talks about the urim v'tumim. The uh, how do you say urim v'tumim in English? It, it, no, it was in the Matrix, the Oracle. Oracle. The Urim v'Tumim in, in Sefer Shmot, uh, Sefer Shmot, Perek Chavchet. That the Kohen Gadol used to be mechaven b'Shmot Hakodesh. He used to have a kavana in the holy names, which is called the Tumim. And he says, Asher mikocham, from the power of it, he ye leva kohen tamim. So the heart of the kohen, of the priest, will be clean, complete. Be'idiot in yana otiyot, she'eiru le'enav. In other words, he will be, uh, he would be cleansed in order to give the true meaning of the of the light is called urim or the light to mim means a person needs to be complete shalem tam means complete and it says at the end and so on and so forth it continues it says vezot madrega mi madregot ruach hakodesh in ruach hakodesh don't think okay uh, I have a BA in enlightenment okay I'm done no there are levels that's a level in madregot ruach hakodesh which is lemata min anevoa below prophecy, velemala mi batkol, and above a batkol. Batkol was a heavenly voice that they would hear. They weren't schizophrenic. They didn't hear. They just had a heavenly voice that was used only in time of Baicheni after prophecy had stopped being present. In other words, Akadosh Baruch Hu took away prophecy from us together to balance it out, together with the, the desire to do uh, idol worshipping. So, you know, we gave something, we got something, you have to give something, so he took it again. However, Ruach HaKodesh still was there, and they used it, uh, they used it in time of Bayer Chini, Chachamim would hear it, and they would say certain things, the, the Mishnah in Masachet Avot said, many places it says, well, regarding Batko, maybe one day we'll talk about Batko. Uh, and after, after, after the temple, or was destroyed and there was no more rim and tumim so they used bad call and he explains ki madregat ruach hakodesh the level of ruach hakodesh is below prophecy <coughs> and it is still in existence after the prophecy was finished so in a way we don't have prophecy today but we do have ruach hakodesh today so it's a proof in a way to what we said earlier that in a way there is still Ruach HaKodesh among us, maybe though in different levels. The Meiri, which I love tremendously, uh, wrote in the difference between Nevoah, prophecy, and Ruach HaKodesh, he wrote the following, Shenevoah lo tavo, rak leshalem meikar yetzirato behachanato b'shnei hakochot hatzachim aleha. The Ruach HaKodesh is not, a prophecy is not going to come unless a person had work on it by himself and he became Shalem, he became whole, complete entity and was able to create a certain balance between two powers in him. Hamedame Vasikhli. Hamedame is the ability of the mind to understanding the intellect and the and the and and the uh, the level below that in terms of intellect in terms of my ability to understand things and my ability to know things two different things to un- I know I might know a lot of information but I cannot understand and uh, to apply one to the other and understand davar mitoch davar I need to have those two abilities together right that's why one of the reasons to learn is a very good level to learn because you're able to take a lot of knowledge that you have and to apply it 
to different scenarios, and that's that's the derech which we do here. That's what we learned last suke shmatetali badil chata to develop this koach hamedamed in order to do so. And it says sheye ish atachlit hashlemut vachokma kama sheefshar lasechel asiga. And a person needs to be able to strive this perfection inside of him until he gets to the essence of wholeness in wisdom as much as his brain can would allow him to do so. And when they have prophecy, because prophecy exists in different in different areas. There is prophecy of a dream that comes in a dream. There's a prophecy that comes through hearing. There's a prophecy that comes you know, while you open. That was what he was talking. A lie, right? I mean, and so on. When he was wide awake, he, he was prophesying. So he says, uh, when, uh, when, when that nevuah comes, it batlu berov anivim akochot hargashot veyered moyono lifamim ki ilu ish medaberito. When prophecy comes, all physical sensations are in terms of his body, the way he feels, you know, he has a stomach ache, he has gas, he has, he's burping, I don't know what, all this is gone. It's like all his pain and aches and are gone completely. He doesn't feel anything with his body. And he would experience such, a, such an experience that he would see almost like he, like, like he would hear a person talking to him, which will be God. That, you know, like I'm talking to you now, and that's the highest level as Moshe Rabbeinu. Uh, had experience as a human being. And Oishmakol, or he would hear a voice, he would see a person, or he would hear a voice, uh, like a person is talking to him. Oishmakol medaber dimyonot, the voice says things. And he, Yavin metucham amechuvan benevuato. And he would understand from those words. In, in other words, when the prophecy comes down, according to the Meiri, the prophecy comes down as chatter. He hears no voices, he hears words, he hears this. And he takes and are able to interpret the analogy of it and to tell you what the prophecy means is that. That's why I love The prophecy comes in a form of a poetry, the very poetic. Especially in the later Nevi'im, very poetic. So that's the interpretation. That's what the Gemara says, that based on the character of the prophet itself, it would reflect on the prophecy as well. The famous story between Yermiao and Chulda, as it brought down, and so on and so forth. Uh, but Ruach HaKodesh, is, which is a lower level than prophecy, what is it? Ve'ushe Adam Shalem. When a person is complete, when he is dealing with divine actions, arguments like doing mitzvot, learning Torah, and so on and so forth, he will be awakened and revived by a divine spirit, and is going to come on his, on his lips, on his words, Shevach Voda, there's some great things to Hashem, like for example, David Amelech, right? Or Divre Sechel Umusarim. Or something that makes like tremendous amount of Sechel. You know, like Divre Musar, Masechet Avot, or the Rambam, and so on and so forth. Okay, there are different levels of Ruach but they all, it's all within that. So that's why we say Sefer Tehilim, Beruach HaKodesh Nichtav. It was written Beruach HaKodesh, not Beprophecy. If it was prophecy, it was different. And Rum Tehilim was written Beruach HaKodesh, is different. So that's how it is. It's all Shevach Le'ashem. This is a wonderful thing that the Meiri says uh, that maybe we could relate to it ourselves. Uh, similar things that Ramchal writes in Derech Hashem, he writes the following, and I'm quoting, All the great could happen. That some abundance will come in the heart of the person. Some kind of a flow from above. Are you ready for the flow? Most of us would say. No. But shefa, you're learning about something and all of a sudden the gates of the floodgates are opening and this thing is coming to your head and you're feeling this rush coming into you. And all of a sudden he says, oh, I got this crazy idea. I have this chidush. 
Of course, the chidush has to be a real chidush, which is different than something that you really mechadesh or something that you try to manipulate. It is a, 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 it is a physical feeling. When something comes to you, you know it's not you. You know you were thinking this. You were thinking in one direction. All of a sudden, you get this like light bulb. Blah! I get this. I got it. How, where did this come from? It's completely irrational with the path you were thinking. But you had a tremendous revelation. That's what the Ramchal writes about. That's how it works. It's like, la da You know, that's how it is, right? Sounds like a Dell computer turning on. But uh, so <laughs> but that's that's uh, that's right. and he and, and sometimes you we, you can really call it as a generalization. What Chazal refers to is It's like wow. Or hashpan or hitting hitting a uh, 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 flow that came about. You came indirect. Aval ruach hakodesh. He says, but however, ruach hakodesh beemetu sheyeh nikar v'nirgash beveru lebaalav. Something that you know without a doubt, it's not yours. That's real ruach hakodesh. Something is, you know, hashpan is teret. You got something, some chidush, like as somebody said something, created a chain reaction. That also comes from above. But the real thing is, that's what I was saying before. You feel like it is. That this is not for me. <laughs> this, is, this is not for me. It's like above that level, yesh od ma'alachat. Above that is the level of prophecy. Ve'inyana, the reason of prophecy, she'ga adam ve'itkasher bavoreit barach shemo ve'itdabek v'ot ve'kut pamash. Prophecy comes for to create a platform in which a person could connect himself and dedicate himself completely to Akadosh Baruch Hu, just like Moshe Rabbeinu, since he had such a level of prophecy, he connected to Akadosh Baruch Hu in such a level that in his life he was called Avdi Moshe, my servant, and his death, he death both Neshika, he connected himself to such a level, he disappeared. He's going to feel that the connection to Kadosh Baruch Hu. It's going to be clear to him. Without a doubt, he would feel as much as I'm taking this uh, pen and I'm touching my head and I'm feeling the pen on my hand. Right? You can't deny that I'm feeling this on my hand, even though it's a chemical reaction in my brain and blah, 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 blah. But I'm feeling, you can't deny I'm feeling it. So is when a person has this level of nevoah, he feels such a connection to Hashem. It's real to him as, as, as you're touching yourself. It says, and almost, we're almost done for today. But Chazonish added on and he wrote, Ben nevoah in prophecy, you like Chazonish, right? Alubavich, okay. Ben nevoah ein hasechel hamurkav shel adam mishtatev ba. The regular common sense when it comes to prophecy doesn't, it doesn't take place in that. The what comes from other parts of your brain, from the other 90% of your brain that you're not utilizing. One of the reasons that he got such a level to reach this, this, this divine splendor is if Shalu Liot, which helps him, helps him, you know, that's to do what? Lihiyot to be able to become a vessel that would hold knowledge and understanding without you working your brain. You just sit there and you, you got it. You got, the, you got it. You look at this. You got this. Why, why is the reason for this? Uh, I don't need to come to, to ponder on this too much. I, 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 you know, that's, that's, that's on that level. And it says, Aval Ruach HaKodesh, that's the prophecy, Aval Ruach HaKodesh is the opposite. Hu yegiyat ha'iyun berov ha'amal. Ruach HaKodesh comes when you are looking iyun, you're looking the Gemara, you're learning, you're contemplating on things deeply, not like, okay, you know, okay, time to go, see ya. That's not iyun, that's not what we're learning. To sit down and to ponder and to look and to dwell inside and to not to turn, not to leave every stone unturned. Then all of a sudden you're going to develop these unnatural abilities. And let me tell you, this is exactly when Chachamim, when people, he told us, oh, this rabbi, the Chazonish himself, was able to, to be able 
to, to, even though he wasn't a physician, was able to advise brain surgeons of the time in which way to approach surgery and so on, even though he didn't learn. Because that doesn't come because he learned medicine. It came because of the ultimate knowledge and ability that Chazon Ish had to come and to... So it was obvious, you know, he looked, they go from here, not from there. Similar things you saw, my, and that's my son tells me the same thing, similar things you, you saw with people like Rav Belsky, this understanding about everything and everything. How can a person learn so much in such a lifetime? I mean, it's impossible. It's, it's, it's unnatural to these people. Not only Torah, they know everything. That's, that's how the things are. It says, it still seems a little bit, a little, it's, it still doesn't seem so clear to us exactly what prophecy in Ruach HaKodesh is, and we need to therefore investigate further to see if Ruach HaKodesh that we have today, if the way to acquire it is, as Chachamim have it, Rak B'der Chochma, can I acquire Ruach HaKodesh? In other words, besides dwelling down in, in, in learning Torah, learning Gemara, we'll see if that's possible, if it's possible at all. And that will be for a different day. Have a great day.